If you are dealing with um, a nail fungus problem, then after an in-person consultation, the dermatologist determines whether systemic therapy is needed, that is, um, whether you will need to take any um, uh, oral medications from the group of antifungal drugs. Um, usually these include grisofulvin, itraconazole, fluconazole or terbinafine. This is selected strictly on an individual basis. The use of topical antifungal medications is absolutely necessary. Uh, nowadays there are very high quality, excellent uh, lacquers and gels that can be applied to the nails to locally target the fungus. They are often combined with uh, urea or uh, salicylic acid. In in classical practice, the separation of dermatology remains. There is also the method of applying a 5% iodine solution to the nails, but it is sometimes used as a home remedy for treatment. This makes sense uh, as part of a comprehensive treatment plan. Nowadays, there are excellent medications that effectively deal with fungi. And um, of course, this is just one of the options. Uh, it cannot be the sole therapy for this condition. So it makes sense to consult a dermatologist and um, quickly resolve this issue. Uh, as for treatment, it is uh, extremely important for some reason, patients often underestimate this point. It is essential to stick to the treatment duration prescribed by your dermatologist. Why is that? Um, because you, if you use the um, prescribed medications for a, um, a shorter period, you will almost certainly experience a, a recurrence. The success of fungal treatment depends about 90% apart from uh, properly selected medications. On. Whether the patient follows the treatment schedule. Um, if the patient uh, follows uh, directions and completes the course, typically one and a half months, uh, depending on uh, how severely uh, the nail plate uh, and patient's condition are affected. Uh, extremely important. This must be taken into account. Never stop the treatment before your doctor tells you to. The duration of treatment is 90% um, of success, in addition to the correctly chosen medication. At home, patients often try to deal with this problem on their own. Uh, they start using various remedies, uh, but since they lack the knowledge um, about how to properly approach treatment in each specific case, which medications to use um, correctly and uh, for how long, they only make the problem worse and as a result they end up seeing a dermatologist anyway. But by then most of the nail plate is usually already affected. Um, that's why it makes sense not to delay seek help right away, get treated and forget about it. Another thing is that um, nowadays women actively use gel polish coatings. Um, and uh, I would also like to address uh, both women and uh, manicurists, if uh, you notice white spots on the nail plate or any changes, um, it is necessary not to cover them up, uh, but to refer the client to um, a dermatologist because many people just cover it up with a manicure. Um, it becomes invisible, uh, uh, these changes. And people come in when the situation is already really bad. Honestly, this is a real scourge of our time. So. I would like to emphasize this point. It makes sense to seek help right away. Uh, 
um, a 5% iodine solution is used, but only as one component of the treatment. And honestly, nowadays you don't even have to use it. That is somewhere there, it remained in the classics. Uh, now, there are antifungal medications that allow us uh, without this iodine picture. Just fine uh, 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 to cure the disease. As for apple cider vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, and so on those images you see online about uh, treating fungus with folk remedies well, um, that doesn't help, it only drags out the process. And um, by the time you finally see uh, a doctor instead of needing a month and a half of treatment, you'll need six months. And that's absolutely, absolutely pointless. Mm -hmm.